Welcome to Excelworks presentations. In this video, I'll demonstrate a new remarkably simple yet highly powerful technique for solving optimal control problems in Excel. The new technique requires minimal effort and no programming skills beyond basic spreadsheet knowledge. Optimal control problems are common in social and natural sciences. If you work with them, you know they are hard to solve with non-trivial programming effort. An optimal control problem is typically concerned with finding control functions or policies that achieve optimal trajectories for a set of controlled differential state variables. The optimal trajectories are typically decided by a constrained dynamical optimization problem as shown here. I have devised a simple yet highly effective direct method which integrates Excel nonlinear GRG solver with two calculus worksheet functions from Excelab add-in, the initial value problem solver IV solve and the discrete data integrator quad XY. There are three systematic steps in the method, which we will describe in detail in the following slides. In the first step, we represent the control function or functions with a parametrized formula and then obtain a solution to the initial value problem represented by equation 2 and 3 on the right. We obtain the solution with IV solve. In the second step, we define the objective formula 1. To do this, we use the solution results obtained in step 1 to generate an initial vector of values for the integrand expression shown in equation 1. We then integrate the vector using the discrete data integrator function quad xy. In the last step, we configure Excel Solver by selecting the objective formula from step 2, the design variables from step 1, and add any final or bound constraints. We then simply solve it. Let me describe step 1 in some detail. The control function or functions are unknown. We approximate them with an appropriate formula. For example, a polynomial for a continuous function with unknown coefficients or by using the F statement to define a time-switching discontinuous function. Here I show a simple step function. The unknown parameters represent the design variables and should be assigned some sensible initial guesses. At this point, we have all the input to solve the initial value problem with IV solve. Next, I'll detail step two. This is a very important but systematic step to approximate the objective integral shown by equation one on the right by a simple formula. We see that the integrand expression of the objective is generally dependent on the time, the state variables say x1 and x2, and the control function u. We already have values for the time and the state variables x1 and x2 from step 1. We obtained by IV solve solver and is shown here on the orange range. What we do next is generate a new column shown here in yellow values for the controller parametrized formula at the solution times. This is easily done with a simple autofill. Now we have all the variables to generate values for the integrand expression. We simply define a formula for the integrand expression referring to t, x1, x2, and u as needed and use autofill to generate the green column. At this time, we can simply approximate the objective integral by using quad xy simply by integrating the green column for the integrand values versus the solution times. In the final step, we configure Excel Solver and run it. We need to select the objective formula, the design variables, which typically are our parameters for the controller, and then add any constraints. Constraints are added directly in the dialog of the solver, and conditions are added by referencing the last row or end time cells in the solution of step 1. Bounds constraints are easily added by the aid of max A and min A functions on the state and control data columns. Other configurations include setting options for the solver as needed. How it works? Excel keeps track of the dependency tree and thanks to the automatic calculation mode, it keeps all results up to date whenever a change occurs. The solver, which is unaware of the details, always receives up to date values for the objective and constraints whenever it alters the design variable's values. I will demonstrate the method for two illustrative examples. You can find additional solved difficult problems at excel-works.com. These examples are taken from the shown reference below, and the results compare excellent. 
For detailed analysis, please see excel-works.com. In order to run these examples or solve general optimal control problems in Excel, you need to enable Excel Solver add-in, which is shipped free with Excel, and also download and install Excelab Calculus add-in from excel-works.com. The first example is for a bang-bang two-step controller problem as stated here. The goal of this problem is to determine the optimal switching time for the controller, which minimizes the objective J. Here you are looking at the complete setup in Excel before running the solver. Using the named variables T, X, Y, Switch T, Stage 1, Stage 2 and U as shown on the left, we define formulas for the controller and the initial value problem right hand side equations. The initial conditions are assigned to the state variables X and Y and some initial guesses 0 0.1, 0 and 1 are assigned to the controller unknown parameters Switch T stage 1 and stage 2. This is really all is needed to run IV solve, which takes the right hand side formulas in B11 to B12, the variables in B2 to B4, and then the time interval 0 to 5. We run IV solve as an array formula in the range D2 to F103 and get the solution shown on the orange range on the right. Based on the solution values, we generate values for the controller parameterized formula shown in the green column and also for the integrand expression x squared plus y squared shown in the gray column. The objective integration formula shown in the blue is easily defined by the integrator quad xy as shown. We also define two 8 formulas to calculate the maximum minimum of the control column u, so we can use them to impose the bounds constraint. Here's a solution obtained by Excel Solver, which converged in under 3 seconds. It dropped the original objective value from around 246 to about 5.6 and predicted the switch time at 1.26 seconds, which is consistent with the values reported in the literature. I'm going to demo this live in Excel next. This is the exact setup I showed earlier. We are looking at the optimal results here. This is my IV solve formula. I can run it again by pressing Ctrl Shift Enter and it's very quick. This is my generated U values. The same way for the integrand, which references the X and Y from the solution and again I generate all the values by the autofill. My objective formula uses the quad X integrator to uh, integrate the integrand expression values versus the time values from the solution. I defined here two formulas using the max A and min A functions to calculate the minimum and maximum of the U column. I'll use those in the constraints. Before I run the solver, I'm going to copy over my initial guess over the optimal values as numbers. You can see Excel adjusted everything back to the original values. I can now start my solver from the data tab. In the solver I have specified to minimize the M3, my objective. I've added the two constraints here to impose that the absolute value of the control is smaller than 0 0.8. It's also important to uncheck this box to allow the variables to become negative. In the options for the GRG, nonlinear solver, I select a central derivative because it's more stable. And now I can simply click solve and Excel spends for a couple seconds and then it reports back that it found a feasible solution. I'm going to accept it. And you can see Excel automatically updated all the calculations and now we have the optimal solution shown here with a switch time of about 1.26 seconds consistent with the literature. I can also generate an output report which looks something like this, which shows you that the original objective was uh, up, minimized from 246 down to 5.6, and this is the final values for the design variables. The second example describes a minimum time orbit transfer problem. The original problem with free end time t was transferred into a fixed time domain uh, in the range minus 1 to 1. The mathematical optimal control problem is shown below. Note that we have here end conditions in the state variables, and our objective is simply to minimize the end time t. Again, you're looking here at the complete setup with just a few formulas. Working with the named variables shown on the left, we parameterize the controller using a third order polynomial with unknown coefficients c0, c1, c2, and c3. All have been assigned an initial guess of 1. Note that we also have a variable tau, which is assigned the guess value of 10. Here tau, which represents the final time t, is a system parameter rather than a controller parameter. Initial conditions are assigned to x1, x2, and x3, 
and the three ODE right hand side formulas are defined in the range B19 to B21. We run IV solve, which outputs the solution shown in the orange range on the right. We also generate the controller values shown here in green. Note that in this example, the objective is simply tau, which shows the initial guess value of 10. Here's a solution obtained by Excel solver. It finds tau at, or the minimum time at approximately 3.5, consistent with literature. Note that this problem has end conditions on the state variables. We add those directly to the solver by referencing the corresponding cells in the last row of the IV solve solution array. Let me demo this live in Excel next. Similar to the first example, this is uh, the input for the second problem. Uh, on the left side, I have all the named variables, uh, the formulas, and in the middle, I have the ODE uh, IV solve solution. I can click here and you can see the formula. I've also here the I have here the parameterized U function using these unknown coefficients, and I can run T solve again, IV solve again. Just to show you it's very quick and my objective here is just to show you is equal to tau tau is this variable here let me copy over the initial guess values and we can run the solver again so i'm going to copy these coefficients over and i'm going to also copy tau you can see that the solution has changed now I'm going to start the solver. The solver has been set up to uh, minimize tau, the objective, by varying tau and the unknown coefficients. I've also added the three end conditions in the state variable x1, x2, and x3 by basically referencing their, uh, la the last row in the solution, in the IV solve solution. And I'm putting there their end values here. Um, I click solve. The solver spins for about a minute, and then it reports that it found a feasible solution. As shown here, I'm going to accept the solution. And you can see Excel recalculates the page and updates the plot as well. This concludes our presentation. You can find additional solved hard optimal control problems at excel-works.com. Thank you for watching.